Hi, I'm Arnie Kent, and I'm here to answer a question we get asked a lot around here. How long does it take for content marketing to work? How long will it take for you to get that ROI from the effort you put into creating awesome content? So here's a couple of slides I want to show you. Both of them were studies done to show the increase in businesses' focus on content marketing in 2013. In this particular survey by eMarketer, you can see content marketing rose right to the top compared to 2012 versus 2013. The investments are being made in content marketing. This next slide shows an actual comparison of the percentages. So from 2012 to 2013, the investment and the time spent producing content for websites is almost doubling. And so what is it really gonna to take to get that payoff? Well, this, this slide here shows you that both business to business and bus, business to consumer companies with 100 to 200 pages will generate two and a half times as many leads compared to those who have 50 pages or fewer. So that kind of gives you an idea of where you are with your website. If you're, if you're far exceeding that, if you have thousands of pages, well, then you're in a different league. But this basically for small businesses, this is the target you want to have. And companies that blog more than 15 times per month, and we used to tell our clients that they really need to be looking at trying to blog or post new content on their website three to four times a week. So this pretty much flips right there, 15 times a month for some new content. If you do that, you're looking at generating five times as much traffic to your website than compared to people who aren't blogging or aren't generating any kind of new content at all. That's significant. That's five times as much traffic. So you know, kind of how long will it take to answer the, the question that's being asked? Well, this is looking at if you uh, average those 15 blog posts per month, how many months will it take until your, your uh, inbound leads start to really take off? And if you look here, I know it might not be easy to see, but right between that six and nine month mark, things start to really zoom. And this is the quantity and, and, and the, uh, the quantity of leads that are being generated from that content that you're producing. So it's gonna feel weird at first. You're gonna just you know, be writing articles. You're not gonna have you know, quite as many uh, responses and comments and, and, and subscribers and so on and so forth. But if you just keep at it, keep consistent, keep producing the content, you'll see in the six to nine month mark, things start to zoom for you. So what's the impact of, of, of the total number of blog posts? Uh, and this is now compared to traffic, not leads, but you can kind of see the same thing. It takes about to getting to that 100, that 150 mark, and all of a sudden you see things just starting to really zoom. And again, it's kind of the same thing. You're building a critical mass, you're building followers, subscribers, people are commenting, you're getting social signals, you're learning how to produce better com content, but it does take that kind of an effort. So in the end, be patient, Keep at it, it will pay off. I'm Marty Ken, and thank you for watching.